What if it was possible to have local fresh groceries delivered right to your door? Think of all the free time you'd have. Well, Instacart gives unlimited grocery delivery for one low monthly fee. Forgot that special ingredient in your favorite dish? Instacart can deliver it to your front door in as fast as one hour. You can shop multiple stores, see deals in your area, and save time and money. I've been using Instacart for over three years. I started using them in Arizona, and I'm using them here in Florida. I love the time-saving convenience. They pick the freshest products, and they keep my eggs safe, too. To receive your first delivery free, follow the link in the show notes so that Instacart knows that we sent you and to help support the show. Instacart, never step foot in a grocery store again. Welcome to Empowered Within, a soul-quenching, transformational podcast that will set your soul on fire. Through candid and inspiring conversations, leading experts, celebrities, healers, and I share our journeys of how we've overcome challenges to living an empowered life from within. I'm your host, Jennifer Pilates. Welcome to another episode of Empowered Within. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pilates. For over 20 years, I've been a leading voice in the health and wellness industry, helping clients all around the globe to achieve their goals and unlock their full potential. As a spiritual thought leader, I have helped countless individuals to not only improve their physical health, but also to nourish their minds and spirits. My celebrity status as a trainer and empowerment coach has earned me a reputation as one of the most sought after professionals in the field. And as an internationally renowned intuitive medium, I bring a spiritual dimension to my work that sets me apart from the rest. My approach is both practical and spiritual, and I've got this innate ability to just know things that other people maybe don't know. So whether you're looking to transform your body, elevate your mindset, or connect with your spiritual side, look no further. I've got you. Let me guide you on your journey towards becoming the best version of you. Get ready to feel empowered, inspired, and motivated like never before. You can work with me. You can head over to jenniferpilates.com and we can work together through the summer, through the fall, through the winter. Whenever you are called to do so, I will be here to help you on your journey. Hi there, and welcome to today's episode. Today is a hard day. Um, coming to you with an episode that is so vulnerable and heartfelt that I've sat on it for quite some time and I wasn't quite sure was today the day. And sitting in my car in an undisclosed location by the Atlantic Ocean, I have decided that today is the day. And I want to start with Sometimes we make gratitude more complicated than it needs to be. You are alive. You're breathing. That is truly enough to be grateful right now in this moment in time. It's taken me a minute to get to this episode. I've been reconsidering commenting on all that is going on with Maui and Lahaina because I'm not there and I don't live there. And sometimes we're programmed to believe, well, if you weren't there and you didn't experience it, then who are you to speak of it? And I will say coming to you from someone who was in tragedy and trauma and living through it last year through Hurricane Ian in Fort Myers, I've come to a spot where I cannot not speak out about what is happening around our world and what is happening most recently. When we are a part of the spiritual community, there are certain things that are no longer okay to sit on, to not speak about. And what I can say is that when we look at the larger picture of what's going on here on earth, it's something that I do get to speak on. My heart truly goes out to everyone in Maui, in Lahaina. And really, this is an imposition of power that we, as a spiritual community, are noticing that has been going on all around our world. Not just today, not just yesterday, not just last year. I know a lot of people are conversing right now about, was this natural? Was this not? And again, being someone who was in the middle of something so devastating, 
I will say, we get that. But first and foremost, we want to send love and we want to send healing. And we just want to wrap our arms around one another and say, it's going to be okay. That is first and foremost, what needs to happen. There are those that see, there are those that do not see. There are those that choose not to see. In my personal opinion, I don't feel that this was natural. I knew that what happened in Fort Myers was not natural. We are in a spiritual war. And as the saying goes, so above, so below. There are attacks going on. I do see this as part of a spiritual war that we're experiencing. Believe me when I tell you, I would rather not identify any of this as being a part of it because it is so horrific. However, having lived through what I lived through, through a hurricane that I can promise you was not mother nature, I more than sympathize with every person, every soul, every animal and what they're going through right now. And so I want you to take that moment to remember that regardless of what people are speaking and talking about, these are people's lives. These are animals' souls. And we need to be there for one another. We need to stop the division that has been going on. We need to step up and we need to be there for one another. And we need to question. We have not been allowed to question for the past three to four years. And that I'm done with. I want to ask questions. I want to be heard. And I want you to be heard because I know this just wasn't Florida. This just isn't Maui. That just wasn't Texas two years ago. It's not just Greece and what's going on in Italy and China, Canada. This is our world and this is our mother earth. And we are here to protect her. So we have the right to ask questions. Why was there a no alarm system sounding when that area has the most robust alarm system in the nation? How come the Wi-Fi in the power suddenly went off? How come the water was shut off? Why were the schools closed and the kids were sent home that day and staying home and the parents were working? You can't not question some of these things. How could they have all happened during this time? And I'm really curious why some buildings, some homes, and the sacred land was completely devastated. And I can go back and say the same thing about what happened in Fort Myers. Why were there certain buildings that were left standing? And you can go and you can Google those. Why in your country, in your town, this isn't an isolated event. This isn't an isolated attack. We are in a spiritual war and we can no longer be silent. This is not a time to sit on the sidelines any longer. This is a time to stand for what you know is right in your heart. Not what people are telling you, not what the news is or isn't sharing, what you know to be true deep down in your soul. When we look at these events that are happening and we see that in certain areas, why are there buildings that are devastated and burnt to the ground, yet there are trees standing right beside it? What's really going on? How can we not ask that question? In my opinion, this was not something that was natural. You can look up things such as dew, such as beams. I'm going to leave those there. You can Google that. But what I'm also going to say is that I find it no coincidence whatsoever that Hawaii is considered to be the heart chakra of the planet. I'm going to say that again. Hawaii is considered to be the heart chakra of the planet. My heart has been breaking for days. I'm sure yours has been too. There are so many sensitive souls and highly sensitive people and empaths who suddenly are experiencing heart issues and anxiety and, and all of the feels. I never knew until today that Hawaii was considered the heart chakra of the planet. 
And when I read that, and even right now, the tears just flow and my heart just melts. How can it not? How can it not? How can we as a spiritual community, because I believe every human being on this planet is spiritual in one way or another, how can we not at this moment in time stand up? This has been a rough road for many the last few years, but this is the time. We can no longer sit on the sidelines and turn a blind eye. This is a time to shine your light. This is a time to be heard, to be seen, and to know in your heart of hearts, to feel what is happening to our beloved Gaia, our beloved Mother Earth, our beloved heart chakra of this world. Now, I know that what I'm sharing today, it's not the usual episode. And I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea. This is what comes from taking a stand. This is what comes when we need to stand authentically in ourselves and we need to be honest and real and vulnerable. And I get it. I truly get it. This is hard. This is so hard that it's something that I could not not speak of. I could not, not shine a beacon of light. And those that choose to see and hear will. And those that choose to continue to turn a blind eye, they will. That's not for me. That's not for you. What is for me is to share what is always authentically in my heart and how I'm feeling and knowing that somewhere around the world, this is going to help you. When we're a part of this amazing spiritual community, Many of us, we get to see clearly the mechanisms of what's going on. We get to see through the programs of what we're being spoon fed to believe. We get to question the narratives that we are being told is the truth. We in the spiritual community get to follow our hearts. We get to trust our intuition. We get to take action from that level of intuition. It's easy to have an opinion. It's easy to be emotional and mouth off and get into debates. It's easy to feel very cosmic and not take any action. But when you are standing in your own authentic self as part of this amazing spiritual community, you understand that the word create is a verb and you're taking action. You're not just being cosmic. You're not just being all love and light. You are actually activating the truth of what you take a stand for in this reality. Hey, I know, I get it. It is safe to say that everyone is moving through some things right now, transforming things that are not being broadcast on social media, myself included. But here is the reality. You are actually activating the truth of what you take a stand for in this reality. Hey, I know, I know that it would be safe to say that everyone is moving through some things right now, transforming things that are not being broadcast on social media, myself included. But here is the really powerful thing about that. What you are transmuting in real time at this very moment What you are healing and clearing on your personal level is going to actually vibrate into humanity and clear that off the planet. I'm going to say that again. What you're going through, what you are feeling, what you are trying to transform through, what you are transmuting in real time in this very moment, what you are working on healing and clearing on your personal level is a ripple effect through humanity. And you are helping so many more people and places around you that you know. The key is you must take action in order to do that. You've got to take the action. You've got to stand in your true authentic self and be willing to work through it and know that you're worth it, that this world is worth it, that you are here in the most amazing, incredible time of history with everything that we are seeing and play out every day 
And as hard as it is to see and watch some days, to know there is a greater plan than what we see. God is good and God's got us. While none of this makes sense, it doesn't need to make sense to you or to me. Falling to our knees, praying, healing, hugging one another, being there for one another, that is key. Standing in your true authentic self, shining your light, not forcing your light. You just have to stand and shine your light like a beacon. And those that need to be guided will be guided. And those that choose other paths, that's their journey. Allow, stand in your truth, stand in your light. You are so important in this world, in this spiritual community that we have. And again, you know, I almost didn't share my thoughts on what's going on with everything. However, it is no longer okay to sit on things. It's time to take a stand. When we're part of the spiritual community, we need to take action. We need to take a stand in service for what's important. We need to be here for one another. We need to stand side by side. No more finger pointing. No more division. This is the time to come together as one. We, you, I, and the spiritual community are larger than them, than what's going on. And remember, when you're part of this spiritual community, you get to share from the lens of being a part of this amazing community. You and I, we're not making it about us. We're making it about the we, the light, God's light. This spiritual war is here. It's real. And it's playing out in real time. And you may be saying, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm going to say, what are you called to do? Claim your sovereignty. Take ownership of your mission. No more playing small. Show up big and be the amazing high frequency, the amazing light that you are here to be. Take action and put foundations in place to fulfill what you are incarnated to do and be here on this planet. You are here for a reason in this incredible time in history. Do not let it pass you by. Take action and put foundation in place. You know what you're here to do. You know what's in your heart and you know what's right. This was the time to bring this message to light, to bring the beacon of light to you, to help you turn on your light, to help guide you, to let you know that now is the time and it is safe. It is safe for you to turn on your light. It is safe for you to shine. It is safe for you to be who you truly are. It is safe to ask questions. It is safe to stand up not only for yourself, but for this world because this world needs you now more than ever. I am sending so much love from my heart chakra to the heart chakra of the world, to Hawaii, to Maui, to Lahaina, to all the residents, all the animals, all the trees, all the sacred land. I am sending so much love from my heart to you, to your city, to your town, to your province, to your country. We are in this spiritual war together and we will get through it together. Our light will shine. And I want you to remember the light, the light always wins. So take that stand, claim your sovereignty, take ownership of your mission. Why are you here? No more playing small, show up big, vibrate at that highest frequency, shine your light. And remember God in the universe has you in the palm of its hands and always has your back. Sending you so much love, peace, and calmness in your heart. And as I say, until next time, may you live an empowered life from within. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Please remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Empowered Within with Jennifer Pilates. Your feedback is important. It helps me to connect with you and gives me insight into who you are and what you're enjoying about the show. For today's show notes and discount codes from today's sponsors, head over to jenniferpilates.com. Until next time, may you live an empowered life from within.